In this video, I want to share with you a low competition cruise sub niche. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now before I share with you that low comp competition cruise sub niche, just want to do a quick sales update uh, for Merch by Amazon. So it's currently uh, Monday, April 15th, 5.32 p.m. and seeing that 39 sales, kind of having a rough day. 40 sold, one canceled. I've had nine returns. I'm getting crushed in returns today. It's only $24 in royalties. So that kind of sucks, but uh, no big deal. Just how it is sometimes. Uh, but that is going to put me at 855 sales for the month and $1,057 in royalties. If you want to follow me on Instagram, where I post my daily sales for both Merch by Amazon and Etsy, the link is in the description. I also post like gym picks, entrepreneur picks, lifestyle picks, just like my life down here in Mexico. I'm born and raised in Mill Valley, California, but I've been living in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for the past 18 years. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the content of the video. So first, I'm just gonna talk about how I found this niche. So um, first, the cruise niche is a great niche. I, I finally learned about or got into this niche about a year ago, been having great success with it. Definitely recommend you check out the cruise niche. Lots of ways to niche down, cross niche, etc., etc. But one of the things that I like to do is I just like to watch uh, like travel vlogs, travel videos on YouTube. And I was watching uh, this cruise vlog, and where this guy is like uh, picking up ducks on cruises, these little like rubber ducks. And I'm like, what the heck is this guy doing? And I remember just from doing uh, niche research for the cruise niche, I would see some like cruise shirts with like ducks wearing like a, a sailor's hat. And I, I didn't understand what it was. So what I did is I just went to Amazon, or I'm sorry, I went to Google, and I just typed in uh, duck cruise ships. And I saw right here, what is the deal with ducks on a cruise ship? Now, I've never been on a cruise ship, so I do not know about this sub-niche or this micro-niche. But it looks like uh, before a cruise, passengers will purchase ducks to hide around the ship for others to find. Oftentimes, there will be a note attached that states the duck's origin. Essentially, hunting for ducks on a cruise is like participating in a scavenger hunt just without any hints. All right, so I had no idea about this, but I saw this in the vlogs where people were like picking up these ducks and talking about it. So it kind of caught my eye. So I was just like, huh, I wonder if that's a niche on Merch by Amazon. So I just went to good old Merch Informer, typed in duck cruise, and look at this, guys. Only 149 uh, results. This is Merch by Amazon shirts. So right here we're going to see productors also saying 149 shirts. Now since I always get this comment on pretty much every video, when I go to Amazon and I type in Duck Cruise t-shirts, we're going to see there's over a thousand results. So why is there a thousand results on this page and there's only 149 results on this page? So 149 results is how many Merch by Amazon shirts uh, are. So Merch by Amazon shirts come with like prime benefits, uh, free shipping, overnight shipping, or next day shipping. This right here, 1,000 results, is how many Amazon clothing products there are. So that's going to be Merch by Amazon, Fulfillment by Merch, which is like Printful, Printify, and then Fulfillment or FBA, Fulfillment by Amazon. All right, so that's why there's more results because this is Amazon clothing products and this is Merch by Amazon results. Okay, um, But if we take a look at the niche or the designs, we're going to see uh, you know, it's low in competition and it is selling. So right here, we can see they all have BSRs. And basically, it's just like a rubber duck and some cruise clip art. And there's like several sayings you can do. So you can say, you can say like duck, duck, goose. Um, I love duck hunting at sea. Duck squad. So you can basically just take like one design and scale it out with different phrases, which I did, which I'll show you here in a second. Here's another duck, duck, cruise one. Can you find me? I thought this was a pretty good one right here. Um, sea days are for duck hunting. And you can see this is selling pretty well. Uh, official duck hunter. I'm just here for the ducks. What the duck? Again, all have BSRs. This one, well, this isn't the climate pledge friendly, but I think you get the idea. Low in competition, selling, pretty easy to design for. And you know, not too many people know about this micro niche, at least not until now. Uh, but now let's go ahead and check to see if this is trademarked. So I just come over here, duck, duck, cruise. Um, the reason why I think duck, duck, cruise works is because it's kind of a play on duck, duck, goose. Um, so right here, duck, 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 moose, but I'm not seeing anything for duck, duck, cruise, duck, duck, books, duck, duck, goose. So nothing for duck, duck, cruise. So it looks like this niche is safe, but again, always do your research, like I say in every video. But now we got the uh, the niche. It looks like it's safe. Now we want to go ahead and design for it. So go over to Creative Fabrica. Um, and when I type in rubber ducks, you can get some rubber ducks here. Um, I think this might be the best one from Creative Fabrica. 
This one could probably work, looks like it's AI. But to be honest, I didn't really find anything that I thought was really good. So I went over to Ideogram and I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I heard someone else say it differently the other day, but I, I say Ideogram. Um, and this is what I got. I think this, these look pretty good. I went with yellow cartoon rubber duck wearing sunglasses, captain hat, uh, and drinking a cocktail, white background, vector design style. So if you want to pause the video, you can you know do something similar like this. And this is what I came up with. And I went with this one right here. So what you do is you just go control um, and click on it. And you just want to save image as. And I just went ahead and popped it into uh, Photoshop. Uh, whoops. Let me show you real quick. And all you have to do is just delete the, the background. So you just come in here, open it up, hit eraser, and just delete it like that, go like that, and then you're just going to save it. And then you want to design. So here are the three designs that I made. You guys can let me know what you think about my design skills or style. So this is the first one, Duck Duck Cruise. And the font that I'm using, which is one that I really like, I almost made a video about it, is, oh, whoops, what the heck happened? Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm using frame as the font. I really like this uh, font a lot. I think it works well. So that's the first one. And then basically I just took this uh, design style and just scaled it out using different phrases. So I'm just here for the ducks. Actually, let me go back and show you how I curve the text here. So if you want to know how to curve the text, you just go over here. Let me open it up real quick. So you're going to come over here to where it says uh, where the text is and you want to click on control and click on it and then you want to hit warp text and then right here you want to click arc and then you can basically make it bigger or smaller you see how it's moving like that all right so whatever works well for you then hit ok so that's how you can curve text on uh, Photoshop um, but that was the first one then I made that was my favorite one actually then I did this one right here I'm just here for the ducks the reason why I like this one is because it's a nice rectangle I always talk about that try and keep everything in a nice rectangle like this where everything is basically lining up. You can see how the text kind of lines up. I mean, I maybe could have made the duck a little bigger, but you want it nice and lined up like that. And then this was my least favorite one right here, Official Duck Hunter. The one, the reason why I didn't like this is I couldn't really get it to line, get the text to line up that well. Um, but I still think this might work. So these are the three designs that I went with. And then I went ahead and I uploaded onto Merch by Amazon. So this is what it looks like on the t-shirt. I went ahead and chose men, women, and youth. These are all the dark colors. You want to make sure that you get like the uh, productor extension or the merch lister extension because what you can do is you can actually have it so that you can um, just click like a hotkey and save a bunch of time. So let me show you real quick. If you just do, this is the hotkey right here. And what it'll do is it'll basically just um, set it up to all the colors that you want, all the prices that you want. You can even do uh, type in the bullet points, but I don't do that. But it's just going to save you a lot of time so you don't have to click all the colors and type in the price because that's going to waste a lot of time it's just a big time saver so the one that I'm using is this one right here it is uh, where is it it's merch lister I think it's this one right here merch lister by merch informer and then what I did for the hoodie I've been doing this lately um, I've been putting it on the back so if you go to the back right here you can actually put it on the back I just think it looks better on the back than on the front and then here are my keywords, and I tried to do a little better job on the keywords for you guys because I, I know lately, or past few videos are just being kind of lazy, but what I did is I just went over here to uh, these designs and just kind of looked for some keywords that I could take or steal, I guess you could say. So just like Duck Duck Cruise Family, Matching Cruise Vacation, so I'm just kind of taking note of these, and I'm just going to basically plug them into the design title. So I went with Duck Duck Cruise, Funny Family, Cruising, Matching Group. And then for the brand, I went Duck Duck Cruise, and then I basically just copied and pasted that, put it over here, and just added in a couple more keywords like summer vacation, Mexico, Aruba, Bermuda, Bahamas, Hawaii, Caribbean, mom, dad, men, women, kids, boys, girls. So basically keyword stuffing. That's the way I like to do my keywords. I know some people don't agree with that, but to each their own, this is just the way that I do it. And then I went ahead and I copied that bullet point and I pasted it into the second bullet point. I like to have matching metadata. I have a, a, I guess, conspiracy theory that says that that uh, helps with the listing. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just the way I think. Um, but yeah, so that is basically the niche and the design uh, that I have for you guys today. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you want to support the channel, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. 
Um, if you want to know how I get sales like this on a regular basis, I do have a cruise over uh, cruise. <laughs> I do have a course over on Udemy. It's this one right here, Merch by Amazon for Beginners. Um, it's good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales on Merch by Amazon. This is I'm in Mexico, so that's why it says MX. Oh, I got a sale right on cue. So look at that. So this is it right here, Merch by Amazon. It's got uh, 28 ratings. You can take a look at the reviews. This is what you will learn. This is what the course includes, the course content. Um, so if you're interested, take a look. If not, it's all good. And I also have an affiliate link for Creative Fabrica. They have a deal right now where you can get one year for $47. That is where I got the frame uh, font right here. But they also got PNGs. They got 3D, Spark. They even have uh, classes. I mean, I don't even know if you guys knew about this, but like graphic design classes. And so you can get all these courses. This is included in the 47 bucks. So I highly recommend Creative Fabrica. It is by far my favorite resource for print on demand or merch by Amazon. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, but that's going to be the video for today. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys on the next one. Adios.